So Pro Social Future uploaded a video and I was in the midst of scrambling to start working on my wrestling. <clears throat> and, you know, getting that up on CR Fire Pro. And I was like, oh, this is up here. I just loaded Gmail uh, in Firefox. And I'm like, you know, let me check it out. I was like, uh, you know, okay, two anti- Capitalist poems, spoken word plus rap. And so I listened and I was just listening and then I found myself listening. Um so uh I was really uh you know impressed, very impressed. Oh, I had to pause it. Oh, I reaggravated my cough doing commentary, had to project. Uh but yeah, I was like, okay, I'm liking, I'm digging it. And then I thought it was over. And then more came. And I was like, wait, he already said this part. Oh, oh, this is different. And I was like, oh, same thing, but awesome. And I'm thinking, if he takes this video down, I'm going to kick his ass all over this planet. So, <laughs> I'm tired of him taking down shit I like. <laughs> um, so, then it inspired me to make a meme. So, that meme... Uh, is what is going to be up here. So if you've clicked away, you're not looking at the meme. <laughs> so that inspired some other uh, back and forth with me and Pro Social Future. And it reminded me of something I thought about maybe three or four weeks ago. And I started to write notes on it. And when I started doing that, I realized I was like, well, and I got out my system don't care about it and I just scrapped it didn't even want to write the rest and didn't want to think about it but what it was was um I, I was sitting here uh, working on wrestlers and I was watching Twitch uh, wrestling and then this weird thought came into my head I literally saw um, some in, in my mind's eye this dude in some kind of uh, robe, a dirty, dingy robe. He had uh, curly uh, brown hair. He looked a cross between, I guess you would say, Chinese and North African, Middle Eastern in that area. He was a, I mean, he was like a blend of it. And He's just sitting there and it's like, he's not, it's like grass, but it's kind of more like a hay, straw, thick, thick hay. And he has some kind of item, some kind of item. I don't know what it is, but he's got it. And he's just looking at it. And this guy looks probably today's person. I would say around in his late twenties, not 30 yet, somewhere in that 27, 29 range. Um, and he's got something. And some somebody walks up to him and they're interested in it. And they're like, I like to have that. Now the guy was getting ready to throw it away. But then someone became interested. And he looks and he's like, oh, I, uh, he's got a choice. You know, I'm going to throw it away. Here you go. I don't give a shit. But then he decides, no. You want it. What are you going to give me for it? And the guy's like, what? You know, the other person's like, what? He's like, yeah. I like this. Like, well, I mean, where'd you get it? How'd you make it? I like to have one of my own. There isn't one. It's the only one. You know, it took me a while to get it. It's worth something to me. I like this thing. And the guy says, well, what, what, what do you want? Now, ultimately, there's a back and forth. Whether the guy gets something out of the other guy or not, Regardless of that outcome, this guy with the item has learned something. I can get things that's worth something to someone else. And that's all it takes. That's all it took. And that just kept going. Because if you can corner a market on one thing that you can do, which this guy was founding, find a way to barter. But in a sense, you know, just trade. 
And change has probably always been around, but it was probably more giving because you need stuff. And some people probably fought over stuff that they needed, others wanted. And then you get one that says, I could probably do a 50-50 here. And then you eventually evolve that into, what if I can keep making this and I'm the only one that can do it? That gives me value. That keeps me alive. That makes me higher. And then that person might be placed on a pedestal, most likely. And then someone says, I can do better. Some ones say we have done better. And then someone eventually has to find something of a worth that keeps things in place, that keeps things where they are. Who knows what that was back then? But we know today is money. And money is what keeps people in place. What you going to do without it? You can do a lot with it for a short amount of time, but you can't do anything without it. And you can say there's a lot you can do without money. You can love, you can go for a walk. Yeah, true. And if you're homeless, that's all you can do is go for a walk or lay down and get harassed. So, you know, just saying, capitalism started a long time ago. And the abuse of capitalism started with it. Don't you think we have allowed ourselves to abuse and be abused long enough? This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.